Hi, this is Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, two-time former world heavyweight champion, and you're watching Cool True Sports. <laughs> True School Sports. Cool School Sports. There you go, champ. Thank you. It's personal between me and you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. All right, Ben and Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm here with the one and only Timor Aragamov. What's up, Timor? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. To always, it's always good to be here, man. It's like I consider this gym a second home to me. Thank you, thank you. It's like it the, is for us second home, and you always welcome here. You know that. Yeah, it's like the. I was just saying it was like the. It's like the Kron gym for the former Soviet countries. You know. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Because whatever is come here, they know they have to sweat and work and blood, and I mean like all together. Yeah. And you got like a really good stable. I mean, I, I've been coming here for a couple, like two years now, and, and I've seen the stable grow. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, we already like like a two years, right? As we start, and one of my first fighters, and my favorite. I mean, all my fighters is favorite, but Otari Yelanasian, we start with him, yes. And now he's all almost almost very close to the titles, very close. We hope next year we will, will he will be the champion. Yeah, he's ranked number two in the WBA right now. He is number two, right? Yeah, yeah. Three, three or two, I don't three. know. Yeah, actually, he's three. three. He's three. three. And, but you know what? The truth is, he can be any champion right now. In the 130 weight class, right now is his prime time. If you will see his last two fights, man, these guys. Like, I hear that some, a lot of people telling me that it's an aggressive style of Lomachenko. It is. He is like that. He is like, he has so much energy. He has so much disaster to fight i mean like he, i mean i don't know that uh, he has fun in there yeah he's yeah, yeah he's super cool guy super super nice guy but inside the ring he's the, the, the diablo like, yeah really diablo <laughs> for the opponent yeah um he's probably one of my favorite fighters to watch in boxing because every, every time otara fights it's it's more than boxing like when i when i talked to him yesterday he says I, when i'm boxing it's not just boxing it's, i'm putting on a show it's entertainment that's why i'm telling you very soon when big tv will see him a lot of people start seeing him on TV because TV will love him. How he fights, he's so not only. I mean, of course, it's it's a he never take the opponent easy. Oh, he always prepare for every opponent hundred percent. But he give in the ring everything. He you can see the and boxing and the fight and the circus. I mean, everything. Everything is there. Yeah, that's why, that, that's why, and it's really good guy, really clean, hard worker. I really love him. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, I can see, I can see it in your eyes, man. You like, you like Otar. Oh, Otar. yeah, yeah, this, I mean, I not only like, I love him because, like, this is my first, it's, like, really my first professional fighter who I really transferred from amateur to professional, and I am honored to have him in my, in my corner. No, absolutely. Do you, uh, do you feel like he's the best 130 pounder in the world? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. This is just, uh, you see, because you see big promotion. The big promotions don't give us the way, what, and they don't don't give us opportunity because they're all trying to put his own fighter with his own like fighter, like between them, Golden Boy with Golden Boy, uh, Top Rank with Top Rank. You know, keep everything in the house. Everything in the house because they know. And the lucky Shakuris that he run for 135, trust me. Yeah. Because we will be whoop his ass and we'll take all the titles. <laughs> but that is no, it's okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. We will take that 130 and then we go up and then we will meet him there. Well, that'd be great, you know, I've always, I mean, Otar against anybody is a great fight, but I think Otar versus Shakur Stevenson would have been a great fight. Of course, of course. I mean, I'm not underestimating Shakur, but I know what, 
atar kendu. Yeah, you know what you have. I know what I have, and trust me, not so many fighters, even one theory can handle him. I mean, we don't care about the weight class, to tell you the truth, because when we had opportunity, they call us and they say, Samson Levkovich, like, good, good, he, he was my ex matchmaker okay. uh, when I was fighting. And he called us and he told us, listen, if you, if you really trust in Otter, I have one guy, he will be the four, uh, future world champion, 135 pound, uh, Castillo. Oh yeah, yeah, Star, the one he fought, Star, one, Stalin Castillo. One, one, 135, I say, but my guy 130, no, if you want to fight and show that your guy is good, here. Stalin Castillo. I say, all right, no problem, let's go. And trust me, the first round, three knockdown, come on. I mean, and <laughs> every round, beating the guy how he wants. How he wants. It shows the level where he is now. That's why I think in Otar, it's very soon. It's his prime coming. Yeah. His prime coming. Yeah, I, remember, I actually remember that fight because um, when, when that fight got made, a lot of people called me up and they said, yeah, that's going to be a 50-55. I said, that, 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 that's not a 50-55. You just, never, you just don't know who Otar is yet, but you're going to find whatever out. Whatever comes with Otar, it's never 50-50. Yeah. Trust me. Whatever. You bring Danny Haney with the... Danny Haney together with Shakur against Otar, I got 50-50. Dang. <laughs> I believe on him. Make it happen one day, you know.